Yeah, I mean, you know, the modern world is, it's in a mess. I think all of us are pretty aware of that. And that's not to say that the pre-modern world wasn't either. Uh, in some ways, there's a lot of good, and, and in, in some ways, this is one of the better times that people have been living. So um, I'm not completely dismissive of uh, the modern world, but there are, there are things about the educational system in the past that were very problematic, and, but there are things with the modern system of education that are also very problematic. Um, th there are still places where you can get a reasonably good education, I would say, but in terms of those basic fundamental skills that are very important to grasp uh, and should really be learned at a relatively early age. Um, in the West, they, they were grammar and logic and rhetoric, and then also the skills of numbers. So these are the two types of literacy, what we call uh, literacy with language and then uh, numeracy or literacy with numbers. And these are the two ways that human beings think. We think qualitatively, which is ling linguistically through language, and then we think, think quantitatively through number. So, and the, when we get into the categories, which are part of the tradition of logic, there are 10 categories. And after substance, you know, the two categories that immediately follow that are quantity and quality, come and kaif in Arabic. And so we, you know, there was a book by a French philosopher the turn of the century it was written the reign of quantity and I, a lot of people noticed this about the modern world that it was a world of quantity and quality was being taken out of the world not completely and not entirely but quality is much less important to the people today than it ever has been the idea of mastery is 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 we have mastery in a few things i think in music there's still uh, a commitment to mastery uh, in certain sports, there's a commitment to high levels of mastery. But the idea of mastering the mind, the idea of mastering the soul, the idea of, of mastering arts and crafts, becoming great craftsmen, becoming uh, really um, you know, masters of these things, it's very, very unusual in, in the modern world to meet people that are really committed to mastery of anything. And obviously, the highest thing is to master yourself. And that is very difficult. Uh, Ahmed Zarruq said it's easier to move a mountain with your fingernails than it is to actually transform your nature. So it's, but it is possible. And Imam al-Ghazali argued that anybody who claims that you cannot change nature is a liar. And he said, you can, you can take a dog and train a dog. And he's saying, what well, you can't, you can't take a, a human being that has rational nature and not transform it. You know, you can take a dog that has, you know, all over the place and teach it to do very relatively sophisticated tricks and teach it to sit. And what, you can't discipline the self? You can, a dog you can discipline, but your own self, you can't teach it to stop. Don't do that. It's not good for you. You know, this is incontinence, which is a beautiful word in, 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 in the 19th century in, in America. And it was a moral term. It wasn't a medical term. And, 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 and continence is, is the idea of restraint, self-restraint. Incontinence is acrasia or the lack of self-restraint. Now it's been reduced to incontinent, to stool and urine. This is... This is what's been reduced to. People that can't control their most basic bodily functions are called incontinent. But in reality, you should be able to control your, your nature. And, and this takes time. It takes practice and it takes skill. Uh, but the modern world wants to strip that away. So certainly learning these skills are very important uh, in, in, the, in the modern world Logic has been reduced to what's called material logic, and we'll get into that in the third lecture. Uh, go, we'll get into material logic. Uh, you have formal logic and material logic. Material logic, one aspect of material logic is called the fallacies, which are called the safsata or the mughalatat. 
The moghalatat are fallacies of reasoning, so it's the content of your logic. And, and we, we, uh, we're very susceptible to them. P politicians are, use them all the time. And we're very susceptible because the mind is susceptible to hasty generalizations. I mean, I'll give you an example. If you look on, if you watched CNN 